I'm just gonna slap out a Samson greed run real quick. Tainted loss times two, isn't it? Rostam dropped 50 subs earlier and they said yes to wanting tainted lost. Unfortunately, I do not have enough time left in my stream to accommodate that. But next time, uh, tomorrow, I can start off with two tainted lost runs. Because I have to get off early tonight. I gotta go wake my kid up so that he we can put him to bed so that he can wake up for school tomorrow. I was actually gonna stop right there uh, at that last run, but we still have about 23 minutes left that I wanted to stream. So I'll definitely get you your money's worth. I just can't do it right now because uh, it's a shorter stream today. Yeah, Tainted Lost after the daily for show. There's your pill that I owe. Now leave me alone. I got you though, Rostam. I wish I had time to do it today. My kid fell asleep in the car on the way home from school and he like never takes naps. And Lisa didn't sleep last night because he woke up at 5 a.m. and she just, she's been having a, a bit of insomnia lately. So because we don't have D&D, which is usually in 22 minutes, I was just gonna get off a little early tonight, wake him up, spend some time with Hunter, try to get him to bed around 11, which is gonna be really hard to do so that Lisa can get some sleep and wake up in the morning and take him to school. So that is where we are at today. My kid never takes naps, but he decided he was tired today. And of course, we're not gonna deny him a nap if he's tired. That'd be fucked up. Like, I know you're really tired, but you gotta stay up four more hours so that you can go to bed on time. Like, just take a nap, it's fine, whatever. The kid never gets naps. Yeah, those bars are a little... I mean, I get it. Each piece is split up. But it, it's definitely kind of annoying to look at. Find the sweet spot, then beat it up real good, cause it's sweet spots. Alright, take that. Little key. I don't think the poop can give us stuff, can it? Maybe. It didn't. Bloodshot eye, wow. So good. No bombs. Wow, right? Nice. Nice.
Risk it for the biscuit. Ah. Oh. Even trade. Let's go. Our damage is already great. My internet die? Hello, everybody went super lurker mode on me. I am sorry about the shorter stream today. I apologize, but hey, I figured it was better than no stream, right? I feel bad because Rossum gave me so many subs. I'll make it up, I promise. Last run was a banger and a half. Here in a way, Falcon, thanks for the prime. Just sleepy? No, I got you. I just get worried sometimes my internet died or something. When my chat quits moving and I have like a thousand people in here. A thousand plus people or people hanging out. Eat peeper. I get a little worried. Thousand peepers in chat peeping on me. All the bots. Bumbo! Oh, that little lip got me. Fuck off, Bumbo. Rosary sick. Sub-Zero, thanks for 84 months. Is there any way I can get a bomb at all? It doesn't look like it. That's great on this mode. Yeah, no bombs, huh? Maybe I'll get lucky here. No bomb. <coughs> we out. Bumbo's cross two room dash or bullshit. Yeah, the dash is pretty bullshit. Just bend over game. Clifford Johnson Miller, thank you for the prime. Oh, so close to the 2900 again. Now we get bombs. Been battling with the, uh, the damn sub count here. Wow. Lead pencil, so good. I could kill greed with what we have right now. Juices, the juices. You know, me getting off a little bit early will give me a chance to do some dishes, to get the dirty laundry from my room when I was sick uh, out. Get all the trash out and into the, the things and on the street, so. It'll definitely help me catch up with some stuff I need to do. I really need to like wash those sheets. I should do it while Hunter's at school, but I've been staying up till 3 a.m. Making Hunter's lunch, cleaning the kitchen up, and then waking up at seven just in case Lisa doesn't to make sure that um, she doesn't accidentally oversleep to take him to school, going back to sleep, but then I've been sleeping until like 12. So I need to just set an alarm to like 10, get my ass up. I did go pick him up from school, so I feel like I did something productive already today. Uh, let's just go next floor. What a Chad. Yeah, chadding it up. And that laundry is properly fermented by now. You have no idea how disgusting it is. I put it in all in a bag. I just haven't carted it downstairs for cleaning. Sty, my stapler. Mm. 
Nice and cheap. Spades, that's the... We don't need any more keys now for the rest of the run. My uh, money putting in chance isn't going to be great because I have done a few Samson runs already. I don't. I just don't like the regular greed unlocks for a lot of the other characters. I want to keep them locked. Hey, what's up, Xander? I'm super sad we're not doing D and D tonight or the other board game. But with three people canceling, man, and then my kid being asleep right now, rough, rough. So I figured probably just better to take the night to catch up with some shit. I'm going to hit Bubs with a, a raid in a second here. I saw that he was on playing some Isaac. He's still learning. I've been trying to get him to go to the alt floor. I haven't been able to convince him yet. Maybe you guys can backseat him and drive him nuts today. He's like addicted to Isaac right now. Uh, well, the alt floor, it's harder, but it has all new enemies, all new rooms, all new bosses. And then there's like a special thing you can do. You can um, touch the white fire on the second downpour floor, and then that lets you travel through the mirror to Mirror World, where if you go into the item room, you get half of a knife. And then if you go to the, the mines alternate floor, you get the other half of the knife, and then you can go and do a super special boss, which unlocks more stuff that you can do in Isaac. That's really exciting and like get more characters and stuff. And that's basically like what Repentance was, was that half of the game. He's just missing a lot of uh, content already. He's still on the older content and doesn't have the newer characters yet. Stigmata. Pop this guy. Oh, I can't. We don't have the fucking angels still. I think I'm just gonna hold on to my money. I'm gonna pop this one time. Hey, it's a sci fly. You do realize you we've been uh, watching Cobalt 3 for a shit ton of years. So I remember talking about his new baby, and now his kid is already in school. It's not school, it's a clinic. But it runs the hours of a school, and we just call it school because it's just easier to. Insane clinic to everybody. He's there from 8.30 to 3. Um, five days a week. And it's been helping him so much. And he really loves it. Oh, I will. It's it's ABA therapy, but I feel like ABA therapy over the years has changed a lot because I've heard horror stories from some uh, people about like how they would like make them sit there and like do the activity and put all these demands on them. And at his clinic, it's more of like an open play environment where he moves from, it's a big open room with lots of activities and they just kind of move from one activity to another. And then whatever he's interested in, they reinforce and they try to make it where they can put goals on him. Like, oh, you want to play with the Play-Doh? Okay, we'll touch your shoulders. And when they touch the shoulders, they'll like play with the Play-Doh, you know? Um, and, and stuff like that. And it's really, he really loves it. Like he's excited to go every day 
He tries to bring us his backpack sometimes during the weekend to take him. Um, he gets excited to see the therapists that are there working with him. He'll run up to them in the morning and grab their hands and walk inside. And he's, he's super happy uh, about it. So I know a lot of people have had, you know, bad criticism about it, but it's really helped him a lot with his development. And he's been able to, to play with other peers and friends around his age, which is really big for him because we're not like taking him out to like all these different places. Since the pandemic, we don't want to expose him to too much, but the school is like just enough. I want the chaos, but we don't need the chaos. But it's helping him with like his pecs book, which is going to be his voice until he can actually, um, you know, starts being more verbal. Although I, I, I know what this kid wants just by, he can look at me and grab my hand and I know what he wants just because I know him so well. And as soon as I, I'll be like, he'll grab me and like try to pull me off the couch and I'll be like, are you thirsty? And he'll look at me and if he's thirsty, he'll just clap his hands. Or I'm, are you hungry? Clap his hands. Like he knows, he knows what we're saying to him. Like he responds to sit down, come here, put your legs out. Wait just a second. Like, he knows, dude. Mm. The only problem is, you know, I got COVID from him going to school. Probably from another kid, because they can't wear masks, but... The COVID was just super fucking, the Omicron was super contagious. So I'm just like praying that we don't get sick again because the school is so helpful to him. And I don't want him to miss any more of it if he doesn't have to. But I also don't want him getting fucking COVID. And he can't get the vaccine until he's five. So yeah, all that shit. I have to pee so bad. Oh my gosh, Wiggy Chiggy just gifted 20 subs! Holy shit, man, thank you! Wow. What an awesome day. Thank you so much. Oh, he's waking up. Let's go finish the run, and I'm gonna go get him up. He's probably gonna be hungry. If he starts crying, I'm just gonna have to, like, eat out, but we're here, right here at the end of the run. I heard him making some grumbling noises. Oh, shit, are you? Roach clip? Thanks for the 1,000 bits. I'm cooming. I love Tiny Planet, man. It's just fun. Roach Clip just gifted 10 subs on top of that. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, he's waking up. Fuck. All right. He'll be okay for like two minutes. Daddy's coming, don't you worry, little man. Probably got a fat diaper on right now. Not from poop, but from pee. That motherfucker, two peas and he can fill that whole thing up. It's amazing. 
Looks like he done jumped in a pool. that you guys uh, enjoy the sound alerts. I think it's a, a fun thing that adds to the flavor of the stream. Well-timed sound alerts. I've been enjoying those. And hey, Mr. Mullum. So two tainted lost runs starting out tomorrow. Remind me after the daily. That's what we're doing. Two tainted loss runs from Rostam for the 50 sub drop. The maniac. The man, the myth, the fucking legend. Victory for Samson! Our percentage is 1%. 2%. That's not good. Wow, we only got like five points in there. That was a waste of a run, but I had fun. So...